text sales and it's very common for a shop owner of course to change the default text of your shopware 6 store and in this tutorial i want to show you how you can change the text of your store have fun hello it's alexander from shop studio let's do this quick tutorial in this tutorial i want to show you how you can change the text for example let's imagine that we want to change this static text here of your online store or for example you want to change this one here from my account to maybe account to solve this problem we have to jump to the shop administration of course and now we are in our dashboard and we have to go to settings now we have to scroll down a little bit and here's an important part the snippets we click on snippets and now we can see that we have multiple snippet sets here snippet sets are basically a collection of snippets plus text to translate and of course the first thing we need to be aware of is um, which snippet set we want to translate in our case everything is uh, english here so it's the base en minus gb option and to edit the snippet set we click on the three dots here edit now you can see a lot of snippets the funny thing of snippets is of course that we have to find the right one so there are multiple ways for finding the snippet the first thing is if you for example know the technical name but this is only relevant for developers if they see the code they for example see ah, account dot address edit btn button is uh, the translation is added address but there are more options also more helpful possibilities to search for them we have the search bar here and we have filters as well for example and we can uh, filter for authors we can uh, see more filters if you for example know that something um, the snippet should be located somehow in the account area we can for example click on here and now we only see the account snippets and if it's for example a checkout snippet we click here and now we should see only checkout snippets perfect but in our case our goal is to change this one here from for example so let's try to search for from it's much easier and from and we see the technical name is listing listing text from i think this is the right one so for example let's say not it's not from it's i don't know only from and here we click on save now the snippet was saved and if we refresh the page we see that it changed from from to only from let's do another example we go to my account all right let's search for my account and okay in this case it's pretty easy account my account my account okay so we change to i don't know your account click on save the snippet has been saved and if you go back to our storefront we can see it's now your account and that's it nothing uh, more to it maybe just one tip if you for example want to reset your changes this is very helpful to use the filters and filter for show edited snippets only and now we can see that we only see our snippets and if you for example want to reset the snippets we can click here reset and now we are on the storefront again and if, uh, if i refresh the page we can see okay we see nothing here even though we have changed everything this might be because of a famous cache we clear the caches go back to storefront refresh the page and it changed again from only from to from and here it should be my account all right 
we have successfully resetted the snippets. Hopefully you have enjoyed the tutorial. Do not forget to subscribe to the channel or maybe leave a like or comment below. And we see us in the next tutorial. Bye.